Hi people. There's lots of videos around showing you how to put an interlock and wire in a transfer breaker for your generator. But what do you do if you have a panel like mine that has no main shutoff for the service? There are actually five breakers. One for the range, electric heat, air conditioning, water heater, and then the main panel that the house runs off of that's 100 amps. Well, what you do is you install a transfer panel. And the plug goes to the transfer panel. The transfer panel is um, wired in between the main breaker and the, the house panel. So there's actually two breakers now between the service and, and the house panel. But what this does is allow you to throw this breaker and engage the generator to the house and disconnect it from this panel. Now there's two important things about how I wired it up to be legal with code you have to do. One is that there are wires passing through this panel now that may be by, energized I'm sorry, by the generator that are not shut off in this panel. So NEC code requires a warning that that is happening. Uh, those wires now to the main panel of the house are used are passing through the service panel like a raceway. The other is that this generator switch here and this breaker switch here, I'll have to open it up to show you, but um, in a conventional breaker, the power is supplied to this side of the breaker and the wires take the power away. When you install a transfer panel, the power is actually supplied on the wires to this side of the breaker and then it leaves through the, the center connections and what that means is if your breaker pulls out and off of the um you know the, the copper thing it snaps onto that breaker is hot and so you have to have hold downs on there that are required by code also and i see this omitted a lot of time when i see people um, doing things on the internet so here's a look inside the transfer panel and you can see the hold downs which hold these breakers in place these are actually made for this specific brand of breaker but they don't actually work with this transfer panel so I had to modify the bottom, I had to grind the bottoms off them a little bit to fit. But once I had one on both sides of the breaker, they actually work and retain the breaker in position pretty well. And again, that's because if you flip this switch, you could actually pull a hot breaker off of its center connection because the power is coming in on the wires and then leaving from the, the center taps. Hope this helps somebody else who has the same problems.